Hey guys, I'm back here to help you figure out what's up with mastery checks and playing tests. They are two different things. Remember, every day you're in class, you have the opportunity to do a unit and a lesson in that unit. And as soon as you are done with a lesson, I have to make sure that you understand what you have learned. And that if there are any questions, I can help you at the end of that. That is called a mastery check. It doesn't mean that you've mastered everything. You never have to take a test. It's just the name of, of, what, um, of what that particular exercise is. Sometimes that is answering some questions. Sometimes that is recording something that you're playing. Sometimes that means bringing your ukulele down and actually talking and uh, showing me what you can do on it. It can take lots of different um uh, lots of different forms. This mastery check though is only a way for me to see what you've understood about what you learned in the video. It doesn't show me anything that you're able to develop through practice. Remembering that learning a new instrument takes time and it takes practice. Your brain has to set down those new pathways so that you can develop the coordination and the timing and the facility and ease to be able to play things. That only comes after practice. So once you learn a new skill in a video and you show me that you've got a really basic understanding of it, then it's your turn to practice. Your practice um, will take as long as it takes. And for some people, if you've played before or you've played another instrument that's similar to the ukulele, you may find that it won't take very long because you already have some of those skills. If you already understand some of the things or you've played something similar on, say, the guitar or on the banjo, these skills kind of translate across. Some of these might take a little bit longer. And um, so, we give you time at the end of every unit of study to be able to work through things so that you can show what you know ultimately on a practice test, a playing test. I'm sorry, confusing everybody right, left, and center. So I'm going to show you what this uh, Canvas page looks like as a student. Remember, the way you get to know where you're at is by going to the modules, not ever looking at the to-do list. If I go to the modules, which it takes longer since I'm filming, um, I go through and I click on the page, I watch any video, and then the mastery checks are right after the page. Notice that because I have not marked this as done, I can't access this. So um, it will start Stop me from going on. If you have problems getting through a mastery check, you can do a couple of things. Some of the lessons require that you do a study guide. Some of the lessons require that you watch the video once and then watch it again while playing. Sometimes you can go back to those materials and review them. Before you take any mastery check, any study guide you created from that needs to be turned in. They need to be turned into the baskets at the front of the classroom. Then when you turn it in, you take the mastery check. And if you're still having problems, come see me. I'll help you get access to your study guide so you can review it to see what you have misunderstood. You may have to rewatch part of a video. Um, you may need to, you know, take a look and, and rethink something, something that you thought you understood. And that's okay. That's part of the learning process. That's not, it's not a bad thing. Does it cost you a little extra time? Yeah, but after a while you get really good at listening the first time to get as much understanding understanding and information as you possibly can. So then after you're done with that, you'll have an opportunity to take the mastery check again. Many times you'll need to come ask me to reopen that. That way you get another shot. All right. Once you get through all of the units, there's usually some formative, some summative assessment that we have at the end. I'm going to come down here a couple units past because the first couple units are about how the class works. And the second one has to do with, you know, parts of the ukulele, stuff like that. That. When we get to unit two, we actually start playing. And you can see at the end of unit two, at the bottom here, we have unit one playing test. The class is designed 
so that you have a whole week's worth of lessons and you complete the week's worth of lessons. And as you're done with the end of that, you should take the next week continuing to practice the skills and what you've learned. And then when you think you're ready sometime during that second week, you can take the playing test. Remember that you will not be able to take a playing test if you have not finished the unit that it is attached to. So if you didn't finish all of unit one, you can't go take the unit one playing test. You don't necessarily need to wait till you're done with unit two to do unit one. That gives you a lot of flexibility. You just need to make sure you are practicing every day, that you're keeping track of how you're doing, and that you've looked at some of the other videos about how to tell when you're ready to take a playing test. The playing tests are in their own module, and they um, the minute that you can access the unit before the playing test, you can actually access that unit playing test that's after. So when I start unit two, I can access the unit one playing test. Make sure you're actually ready to take it. You might be ready on Monday, but you not, might not be ready until the next Friday, and that's totally okay. Now maybe your, um, your doing of the unit, your completing of the unit isn't within the, the 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 week remember it's made so that you can take one lesson each day and so that you get to the end of the lesson and then you can have time to practice uh, usually there are four units um, four lessons in every unit so make sure that you understand though that as soon as you start the next unit you need to always keep practicing with the materials from the last unit that way you can tell when you're ready and then when you're ready take the unit one playing test. Remember that there's a difference between perfect and mastery. To play something perfectly is great. This is what we're striving for. That's why we practice. But it doesn't always happen that mastery for something is the same as perfect. So please make sure, and I know that sounds super confusing, how can you tell what the difference is? Sometimes a good enough score will get you the ability to go on. And as you go on, you can continue to practice some of the older stuff. As you practice the older stuff, you might be able to, as time permits, you may have time, especially since we have five days in a week and four lessons to do. That leaves that last day to wrap things up. Can I take a practice? Can I take a playing test? Is there a playing test from before that I want to retake to see if I can get a better score? So remember, don't make perfect the enemy of good. Make sure that you have enough skills to go on. And then as you conquer more of your practicing issues and can do more, you can go back and retest. There's nothing wrong with that. That means that if you're staying relatively up to date, there isn't a way you shouldn't get an A in the class. You're welcome. Good luck. Let me know if you have questions.